you have a mooring um, off off the of Boston Hot Club? Yeah, prime territory. How long have you had that one? Oh, since I made peace with Augie Wolf Graham, the harbor master. I used to live uptown, then I moved down here, so I moved my skiffs and everything down down here, and I tied them up illegally at the dock, and I always used to fight with Augie Wolf Graham. He says to me one day, he says, I don't care what you, you and your boys do down on the mud flats down there, but if you embarrass me down State Street, I'll, I'll murder you, you know? But then I ended up being able to help him out with a, with a problem that he had, and we became friends. And one day, I got a mooring. <laughs> but it's a mooring right in the prime space, right in front of the BYC. I expect that I was Augie Wolf Graham's revenge, you know? They were probably squabbling over who, who had the right to it or who was going to get it next. So he gave it to me. That fixed everything, yeah. <laughs> what a life, huh? Hey, it's all good. I've always had a dory in particular. I had a really big one with an outboard well. It was 25 feet long and it used to surf real good. So every storm, people start knocking on my door going, are you going out? We go out and go, around, go out to Halfway Rock uh, because the surf always set up right back to the harbor from there. And it was pretty scary, but it was good, clean fun. Look at old Mr. Ward's house getting the do over. Wow. Talk about no access, huh? But what I remember is Mr. Ward, the guy that had all the tropical fish in his oh, cellar. Oh, that's right, yeah. Remember him? Yeah, so that's right. He'd go get, get fish occasionally and marvel at his giant ass piranha that he had in the aquarium oh, there. Yeah. Jeez, that thing was big. But one day it got tired of captivity, I guess, and it busted out the end glass of the, <laughs> of the aquarium and escaped. But it didn't get far, it ended up hanging on his wall, stuffed. <laughs> but it was still impressive. Yeah, and there's the house they put the destroyer bow on. Oh, yeah. That worked pretty good. Does it? Nah. Yeah, it used to get murdered every storm, of course. But yeah. Now that turns most of them. Wow. Surprised the. Uh... The barnacle fares pretty well in the storms. They put the plexiglass over the windows, I know, when the, when the big waves are coming. That place is funny. It never stops. It, yeah. <laughs> the place is awash and people are in, still in there drinking and partying. Yeah. No bathing beauties at Flat Rock? Not yet. Ah, looks like fun to me. I had an old, uh, it's a gunning dory, it's a local kind of a dory, double-ended, a bow on each end. It's made for duck hunting. I bought one, an old one from Link Cox quite a few years ago and it finally went to rot. And I had this cat boat, I sold it to a, this, this old cat boat, I sold it to a boat builder up at Red Spawn, Thad Daniels. With, and part of the deal was he had to build me a new boat, a new gunning dory. So that's the one I have now. It's very pretty and works real well and it's a tribute to that. <laughs> See this massive place down here? Yeah. It's a swimming pool. We got a float out the front. Wow. Johnny Brewster and I spent a, uh, almost a year rebuilding the cellar. Oh, we wanted it to look like a beach house. It's all. Um, <laughs> beadboard and everything down there. Wow. And they put these fancy windows in all around. And I hated it because 
they're low E windows. You can't even tell if the sun's out or not. It uh -huh. makes everything a little dark. Yeah. You close the windows, you can't even hear the ocean in a storm. Hello. Hello. So, yeah, I was going around opening the windows, even though the house had the <laughs> complete total air conditioning everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And the stereo from hell that never worked right. Jeez. Beach is quiet. Everything's quiet. What the heck? So you know all these people, you know all the Marblehead boaters? No, I only know a few in here, honestly. Oh. And most of them are out fishing right now, so. I always see people, so I don't know if I'm supposed to recognize them or know them. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> Just wave and smile. Yeah. <laughs> and don't hit them. Don't, don't. Bishop is out fishing today. God, how are you? And that there is a big rock. See the day mark? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All these islands I've never been on. No. Well, when you don't swim as a kid, you're not. Yeah. To walk yeah, out to yeah. an island that you have to swim back if you stay too long didn't appeal to me. <laughs> yeah. It, no, I got my three, four strokes and that's all. I, yeah. I don't float by nature. Uh, but it generally works. Yeah. So far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> Ramming speed. <laughs> good, good. How are you liking that thing? Oh, it's great. Sort of a, uh, it's an old boat. Yep. Is it? Yeah. How do you like that thing? Oh, I've been in love with it for 25 years. Well, I don't blame you. Now you can blow us off. <laughs> now you can blow us off. Hey, you're documented too now. <laughs> I built a couple of boats, including another little cat boat. Fenwick Williams used to go past this friend of mine's cabinet shop. I'd been there helping him, cabinet maker. And we became friends with this old time boat designer. Went to, he had us over his house for lunch. He had this little square model of a square cat boat on his table. And it was intriguing. He says, well, it's a, it's a, beach cruiser. You sail it along the beach just far enough so they can't hit you with rocks and uh, close enough in so you can't get into trouble and you can sleep in it. It, it intrigued us. It was a little yawl but it was basically square and only about 10 feet long and so he said well you can see it better. In this he brought in a bigger model. Fenwick Williams this is one of his designs. And then finally he brought us down the cellar and it turns out he's just he was just a short little guy. He built one about six or seven feet long in the cellar he said, for just for himself <laughs> he says yeah one really got built a while back uh concordia yacht company built one as a thank you for me and uh it's still around so we went to see that one and he talked us into building a pair of them and they were the funniest things you ever saw they had lee boards and, and you could sleep in them and holy smokes what a scheme yeah. yeah. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. You got flat top rock jumping out of the wall over there. Oh, yeah. It's high divo. When we were little kids, it was a big deal to run up there and jump off. <laughs> now it doesn't look too imposing yet. <laughs> no. No. It was bigger when we were little. <laughs> when I was caddying, it was terrible. Caddy! Where'd my ball go? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You're the one that hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do too well at caddying. Uh, <laughs> my career was short. Would you mind if we went around the outside on the way back? It's calm. Oh, go ahead. You're, All right. You're driving. A 
But that one on the point there, when I was a kid, these wild brothers, the Hildreth brothers, lived there. You'd go out there and play tag. And it was the course was wild. You had to run around across the top of the seawall with big gaps in the seawall. You had to jump across, <sighs> jump off this huge swing in their backyard, or else you were chicken. I don't. Hey. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh yeah. Pretty pretty. That's why we came this way. Now we got the lighthouse. I mean, it's a little little speck back there, but nice. ah. <laughs> we can make it visible. Somebody's wake is helping us along here. Yeah. yeah feel a little lift. Yeah. Free ride, you say? <laughs> Not bad. Lots of times there'd be kids jumping on jumping off the rocks there to impress you. Go by and say no cannonballs. That's all you had to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. master. Yep, we're gonna get the check out. Ah. You gonna come check your life jackets? Who's on there? Danny Rhodes. With any luck? Yeah. With any luck, we'll get assassin. Hey, hey! Paint the windows. Oh. It's out for the rock. Oh no, not the how rock! Come how come they don't mark that for inexperienced what? people? Uh, I figure you'll see it. It's on the charts. There's two of them. If you can see one, you know there's another one out in front of it. Uh. <laughs> Always helps to know what you're looking for. Well, I don't know. There's, it's the same thing over there. There's two rocks. I thought I was outside of, of, of going around the outside one. And all of a sudden, a wave lets me down right on top of the oh. outside one. Oh. And, you know, it was underwater just by a little. Yeah. And when the wave set the door right there. Oh no, now what do I do? Ah. But then the next wave lifted us off and we got out of there. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a wake up. Yeah, Whoa! Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Must have been the wrong rock. <laughs> Glad I wasn't on that trip. Yep. Hey. <laughs> no, it did. It set us right down on top of it. High and dry for a couple of counts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty good panorama here. Yeah. Marblehead Rock, Halfway Rock, way out there. Children's Island. The Gooseberries. Baker's Eagle Island. Ah. Can't get there from here. <laughs> nice out here. Now oh. I see why you come out here. Yeah, it's so relaxing, you know. There's no place else like it. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 That's it. Like Tony Chaplick used to take his little dory out, hang it on a mooring, lay back and fall asleep. Where's Tony? Out there. <laughs> 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 Well, you might wish this ride was a little more eventful. <laughs> oh, it was good. It was nice. Yeah. Ain't supposed to be like riding in a school bus. <laughs> Oops. Hello. Oopsie.
pick out in the background, but you know, don't want to miss an angle. Ah. Just leave the ugly face out. Driftwood for lunch or something? Like, buy I could lunch? probably sneak out for that long, yeah. Okay. We don't wake the dog when we get back. But actually, I gotta run these up the house. I don't dare leave them laying around anymore. Oh. They got stolen from out in front of the art gallery one day when I popped in for five minutes to they, say hello. Oh. Oh, yeah. Different think, things yeah. are worth their weight in gold. Now these go are yours. Jan won't let you bring them in and lay them on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> so what the heck? Get some angles before it's too late. Yep, we should have come back on the next side. So check up on how the how the rich folks were living today. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we found a few on our on our trip. <laughs> Jimmy Graves' house right there. Yeah. Remember it caught fire, the the original one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember. giant ass fire. You know, there's more at the store. That's great. <laughs> Oh, makes me giggle. 